So let's first write without having our custom data attributes. So how we can write it? I'm going to write it in jQuery. So let me specify the script section, script. And within this, let me add document.ready to check whether the elements are loaded. Okay. And within this, let me add the function. And here, what should we do? Actually, on the click of each of these boxes, they should be moved to the corners. Now, they are at the centers. So, they should be moved to the corners. How we can move these elements to the corners? We need to specify the top, bottom, left or right properties zero so that they will be moved to this points this 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 and this so this point is top zero left zero this is top zero right zero this is bottom zero left zero and this is bottom zero right zero so we need to write the code for each of these boxes so first let me access the first box that is hash box one and when we need to do this on the click event so dot click and let me write the code within the function so within the function i need to write the code here right how i can write it let me use the animate method so dollar this means the currently clicked box which is box one dollar this dot animate what should be animated we need to change the top and left properties so let me put it in curly braces top should be zero and left also should be zero which means it will be moved to this corner that is the top left corner then for the second box it should be top zero and right zero so that it will be moved to the top right corner so let me copy this paste it change box one to box two top is already zero left should be changed to right then for box three how it should happen it will be bottom zero and left zero okay so that it will be moved to this corner which is the bottom left corner and for box four let me change this to four and it will be bottom zero and right zero now let's save this and let me refresh let me click see it is moving slowly to the corresponding corners see now all the boxes are moved as we tried right we wanted each box to move to the corresponding corners now we had to write this many lines of code to accomplish this but if you just see this code you could understand that in all these boxes some of the properties are common like in these two boxes the properties are common which is top and for these two boxes the properties are common which is bottom and for this and this the property left is common and for this and this the property right is common so if we can save some information like bottom or right or bottom or left on these elements itself instead of accessing each and every box differently we can write it commonly for the class name box right so here i'm going to use the custom data attribute so this top or bottom value can be either top or bottom right so let me add a custom attribute like top bottom so every custom attribute should start with this that is data then a hyphen then we can name our attribute as we want there is no specific format so when you name a custom data attribute only thing that should be taken care of is this data hyphen it should start with data hyphen and then you can name the attribute as you want so here I am specifying data top bottom as the name and for this box 1 and box 2 the values should be top right so I am saving the value like top and let me copy this for the second box as well because for that also the value of top bottom should be top itself and for box 3 and 4 it should be bottom so let me save the name like bottom let me paste it here and change it to bottom and let me add one more data attribute and let its name be right left okay 
and for the first and third boxes the value should be left and second and fourth ones the value should be right so for the first one let me specify it as left then let me copy this and for the third one also it should be left itself as you could see here for the second and fourth it should be right so let me paste it and change this to right and let me copy this and paste it for the fourth box so as you could see here we have added two custom data attributes for all these four boxes like data top bottom and data right left so data top bottom represents whether the value is top or bottom and data right left represents whether the value is left or right now let me comment these lines of code and now let me access the boxes using their common class name dot box again on the click event we need to write the code so within this we need to write function and within curly braces i need to write the code so what can we write here we actually need to get these values right then only we can use them so we can specify where top bottom how we can get the value the value of the clicked box should be stored in this variable right so let me use dollar this which means whichever box is clicked currently dollar this jquery actually offers a method called data and you just have to specify the name of your custom data attribute that is top bottom it should not be data hyphen top bottom only this section should be specified here okay so this will give us the value of the custom data attribute data top bottom similarly we need to get the value of right left as well so let me specify right left equals dollar this means currently click box dot data which is the name of the method jquery offers the name of the custom data attribute is right left okay the l is in small letters itself so this will give us the values of top bottom and right left custom data attributes now we can actually animate it like dollar this dot animate within curly braces we need to specify these values so as these values are dynamic css property names that is we don't have any specific css property name like top bottom or right left right so we need to specify dynamic property names within square brackets then only they will work so the value of top bottom should be zero and also the value of right left should be zero okay now as you could see here we have reduced the number of lines to this much that is one two three four five lines instead of three into four twelve lines of code so just using two custom data attributes we could reduce the number of lines of code and we had to write only a common click event for all the boxes now let me save this and let me refresh see still they are working as before as you could see here they are moving to the corners even when we use custom data attributes now here we have actually used jquery's data method suppose we write our code in javascript how we can get the value of custom data attributes in that case let me try to alert it we can access the element that is suppose i want to get the custom data attribute value for the first box so document dot get element by id the id is box one so we have access the element then i need to specify dot data set dot then the name of the custom data attribute suppose i want to get the value of top bottom then i need to specify document dot get element by id box 1 which will access the first box then dot data set which will store the data attributes of that particular element dot top bottom or dot right left will give us the value of that custom data attribute now let me refresh this see 
we are seeing top here because the value of this attribute is top. Suppose I change this to right left. Okay. Let me put a semicolon here and let me refresh. See, it is seen as left because the value of right left is left for the box one. So, when you are using JavaScript, you can access the value of custom data attributes using data set dot the name of your data attribute and in case of jQuery, you can use the data method. So, in this lecture, we have seen how we can use the custom data attributes in order to store some additional information on HTML elements. Actually, without custom data attributes, you can use more class names like top and left or top and right like that. But the whole process is much simpler when we use custom data attributes like this. So, in this lecture, we have tried to move different boxes as we want with the help of custom data attributes offered by HTML5.